foundry is a place where imagination comes to life. I walked into the space and there she was. And I know her so intimately. It's almost like going into a, a dinner party and seeing an old friend. And it just zoomed right in, right across the space. Omaha sculptor Littleton Alston has been imagining Willa Cather ever since he won the commission to create her in bronze. Today, she awaits her final transformation in Loveland, Colorado. And today, of course, is just moving to patina. It brings the piece to life. It'll, it'll go down dark and it'll come back up. And it's gonna warm it up. Um, and it's going to, it'll be the finished work of what you will see. It all began when the Nebraska legislature voted for two new statues to represent Nebraska in Statuary Hall at the U.S. Capitol. Two new heroes. Ponca Chief Standing Bear, who went to court to prove he was a person under the law. And Willa Cather, whose novels created a new vision of the American frontier. Littleton Alston's bronze creations are all over Omaha and beyond. But Willa Cather is his most important commission yet. First, he had to get to know her. I look at each of the images and just to sort of get a sense of her, but also just to make sure that because I sculpt from the inside out, that all the, everything is there. So I'm not making a doll. I'm actually making a human form. In May of 2019, at the Willa Cather Symposium in Red Cloud, Nebraska, Alston shared his first concept in the form of a clay maquette. Uh, I look at the maquette as a poem, and then I look at the four-foot version um, as a short story. And then uh, the seven-foot, which will be in bronze of Willa in, the, in Statuary Hall, will be the novel. <laughs> Three months later, in his Omaha studio, the poem has become the short story. Okay, here it is. As Alston reveals the four-foot clay model to the Willa Cather National Statuary Hall Selection Committee. I put in around her the memories of Nebraska, so there's the wagon wheel and the ark of the wheel here as well as here, and then the cane coming up with her pen and her writings. So she's striding forward into history as a great writer. More than two years later, Willa Cather is reborn in fire and molten bronze emerging piece by piece at the Colorado Foundry. <laughs> now she's seven feet tall and made of raw metal. But she's about to experience a storm that will prepare her surface for what Littleton calls a metamorphosis. Fine grains of sand prepare the hard metal surface to absorb color and texture. Patina comes next. The application of a chemical compound to the surface of a metal sculpture. First comes the rain. The patina adds uh, a, almost a sense of 
soul to the piece. It brings it alive in a way that just the raw metal doesn't look like it. Then, the fire. It's like an adrenaline rush, and it's beautiful to see it. The heat and the fire and the, just the way in which it becomes almost a primal emergence of a, of a form, it's just astonishing. It's almost like we're pulling it out of this cradle, right? And it's just, you know, it's coming alive right in front of you. Just lifts my heart to see it. Oh my goodness, it does. Something creative, right? Something beautiful that's gonna go in there. Willa's gonna hold her own. 